everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Arlene. Today we are going to be making some delicious chuck wagon carrots that I'll be serving up for dinner with some chicken. And um, I'm not going to show the whole dinner because I'm going to make the chicken and stuff later. I'm just pre-making the, the uh, carrots to show you my carrot recipe. So in my Instapot, I'm just going to Put in about 16, I think this is a 16 ounce bottle. Yeah, 16 ounce bottle of water. I have about four or five carrots, and I, I like them sliced like this on the angle, but you can use mini carrots, you can uh, slice them in chunks, however you want. I'm just gonna put this on pressure cook for about four minutes. Um, they should be nice and done. Well, actually, I'm going to do three minutes because I don't want them mushy. I want them still, you know, I want them a little bit cooked. So three minutes is going to be fine on high. So when that's done, I'm going to take them out. I'm going to show you the rest, the rest we're going to do in the pan on the stove. And they are absolutely delicious. You're going to love them. And then stay tuned at the end of the video because I have all of the names everybody that has commented and there's tons more in here and I just want to show you so we have Sharetta Walker, A. Claus, Barb McCaffrey, Holly McClelland, Lynn Adams, Ter uh, Team Dave and Mon, Annette Heff, Everett Davis, Mike Rohrabeck, um, ABC Jerry Lee, Kathy Bell. Trust me, I have everybody's names in here. And uh, Gene Schwartz, Donna Crane, Nan P. And I've had so many new uh, subscribers and people that are commenting, so I made sure that all of their names were wrote on and put in as well. So trust me, everybody's name is in here. Even Penny, um, Penny Reed, who won last month, her name is back in here. Um, I actually wrote everybody's names over on this orange paper. It's like, uh, uh, what do you call it? Like cardstock. It's, you know, I figured they would stay longer than just doing it on regular paper from the printer. So I actually sat, it took me like two hours to, to go through everybody's names and put everybody's names on the paper. But at least it's done now. And then as more people subscribe and comment, then I could just write their name in and put it inside the little hole on the top. And there we have it. So at the end of this uh, carrot video, um, at the end of the recipe, we're going to be picking and I'll be showing you what is for the uh giveaway today all right so let me let that cook and we will be back in a minute okay guys so i have my skillet on my stove right now and i have it on medium heat just waiting for it to heat up i'm going to spray it with my cooking spray liberally and then actually I have my, I cannot believe it's not butter spray, which I'm going to use on top of my carrots in a minute. Let's see if I can. All right, so this pan is hot. So this was only three minutes on the carrots. They could have even went just two minutes and they would have been perfect they cook so fast in the pre in the pressure cooker instead of you know boiling them for 15 or 20 minutes on the stove I've been using my instapot basically for everything lately I mean everything so we're just gonna get this in all the carrots in there there we go. Let it soak up some of that water. Turn the 
this off. So even though I have it sprayed with the um, with the spray, I'm just going to put some, I can't believe it's not butter spray on it, because really you're supposed to put a boatload of butter in this recipe. Now I'm throwing in some very finely chopped onion that I did in my food processor. If you don't like onion, you could skip the onion part, but I think it tastes really good with the onions, with everything else that's going to go in it. Lower this a little. tiny bit of salt. We don't want too much salt because we're going to have uh, salt in the bacon that's going to go in. I absolutely love carrots and I love these chuck wagon carrots. I usually make these every Thanksgiving. We all just love them. But of course, it, they're so much better with a ton of butter. But we are not using any butter today. We are making these. I'm switching it up to Weight Watcher Friendly. Hot. Okay, now... So good. Now the next thing is, I have one quarter cup of my super on gold brown sugar, which I'm just going to sprinkle around like so. And this brown sugar is zero points, guys. It's going to stop melting, and then I'm going to put... quarter of a cup of my sugar-free brown syrup, uh, maple syrup, I mean. Oh my God, the smell. These smell so good. That brown sugar, the maple syrup and the maple syrup and the brown sugar guys is zero points the only thing that's going to have points in these delicious chuck wagon carrots is three pieces of bacon here that i have cooked very 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 crispy so this whole thing the points are just the three pieces. Now, you could put two pieces. You could put one piece of bacon. Yeah. I'm, for dinner, I'm actually going to have a portion of these and then my husband. So, I'm not eating this whole thing. I'm eating like half. Not even half. And I ran out of black pepper. I don't know how that happens. But it did. So, I am going to... Not put any black pepper in this, but normally I would. I just want to give this a taste. And you want to get some of that onion and that bacon in with it. Mm. Guys, they're delicious. I love these. These so these go so well with pork. With a nice glazed chicken. I have them with anything, really. It just... If you're craving something sweet, you could just throw this whole entire thing into a blender. 
and blend it all up until it's like a puree and eat it almost like a um, pudding. I'm not kidding. It's so good. And that bacon with the salty and the sweet is delicious. And guys, look how fast and easy. Cook your carrots in your Instapot. Get them partially cooked. These were actually all the way cooked, so I guess three minutes was a little too long. Put them in your pan with some spray, with some chopped onion. Saute it. A couple minutes. Add your... I use the Vermont sugar-free, low-calorie syrup. Zero points for a quarter of a cup. And then the Sucron brown sugar. If you've never seen the Sucron brown sugar before, that's this. It is kind of pricey. I get it from Amazon. The link is in the description box below. I think this bag is like $14. But you can use it one-to-one. -one, replaces sugar and it's zero points. I absolutely love it. It's delicious. Well, With baked apples, with baked pears. Any, any baking you do, you want to use your super on gold. So good. So yeah, guys, that's it. That's how fast and simple and easy and delicious. And this whole entire thing is basically just the points from three pieces of crispy bacon. Delish. I'm going to plate this up, take my thumbnail picture, and then we're going to get on to the giveaway. I'm so excited. Hey, everyone. So let's get ready for the giveaway. So today's giveaway is going to be my favorite little mason jar uh, Ziploc baggy types of things, but they are reusable. They can go in the dishwasher. They can go in the freezer. They can go in the refrigerator. And you can put anything in them that you want. They are um, gusseted on the bottom, so they kind of open up a little bit wider. You can store nuts, you can store leftover pasta, uh, you can put grilled chicken pieces in it and in the refrigerator and you just line them all up in your refrigerator door and it looks like you have a lot of little different mason jars with your, with, you, you could put your shredded cheese if you have a little bit left in the bag or if you shred your own, you could put it in this and store it in it. I just love these. I do get them on Amazon. Um, we're going to see who wins these in a minute, but there is a, I believe there's a link in the description box below for them. They're called Mason Jaw storage bags, but they zip tight and I absolutely love them. And there's different sizes in here. There's little ones behind this, I believe. So yeah, so there's, I think 12, not 12 or 16, but Oh, does it say on the label? I don't know. I forget when I bought them, how many it said. But <clears throat> I absolutely love them. So let's go ahead and see who is going to win these. And also, whose ever name I pick, you have 48 hours. It is Wednesday, so you have until Friday, um, midnight, New York time to send to email me your name and your address so I can get them shipped out to you probably next Monday. So uh yeah, so by the end of Friday. And my email will be in the description box and you just have to email me hello I'm so and so I won your giveaway here's my name here's my address and that's it. Thank you very much. And I get it right out to you. So, I'm not looking. My head's turned the other way. I'm mixing these all up. And the winner is Lynn Adams. So, Lynn Adams is the winner in today's giveaway. And Lynn, again, 48 hours. Um, shoot me an email and your name goes back in for the next time. And thanks everyone for watching again. Thank you. Everybody that wrote your heartfelt condolences and sent me all the love and to be strong and to not feel guilty about eating what I've been eating the past two weeks. Like seriously, I read every comment and some of them were just so amazing and I just want to thank everybody again. 
So Lynn Adams, please get in touch with me so uh, I can send you out your gift. And if I don't hear from you, then I'll be picking another name. Okie dokie. Thanks everyone for tuning in. I'll see everybody in the next video. Everybody have a blessed day. And if you're new here, please hit that subscription button. Please hit the notification bell. Please give this, uh, this recipe a thumbs up. Absolutely delicious. Chuck wagon carrots, carrots in love with them. So good. And the recipe and the points will be in the description box below. And everybody have a blessed day. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.